Now we will move into the next topic uh, that is random sum. Let x1, x2, xn and so on be a sequence of let me start with the iid random variables be a sequence of uh, iid random variables define the new random variable as a s suffix n that is nothing but uh, x 1 plus x 2 and so on plus x suffix capital N. I am going to define the random sum with the sequence of IAD random variables defining a random variable s suffix n as a sum of uh, n random variables. This is different from the earlier sum of random variable in the sense I am going to make a capital N which I made it suffix that is a discrete type in particular it is a positive integer valued random variables. n is a discrete type in particular it is a positive integer valued random variables. I am going to make the assumption assume that n is independent of x size. The way we create the sum of random variables all those random variables are uh, mutually independent and identically distributed and how many random variables I am going to add that is also random that is a positive integer valued discrete type random variable which is independent of uh, x size. This capital uh, S suffix n that is called a random sum. Then the S suffix capital N is called the random sum. You will come across many problems of this form. We will be adding many IID random variables and how many random variables we are going to add that is also going to be a random variable. In that case, the total number of random variables added that is a random sum. We will go for one example for this. So, our interest is to find out the distribution of the random sum once I know the distribution of x size and n. So, let me start with the example. Think of a uh, some uh, queuing system in which the people are entering into the system, getting served and leave the place. There is only one person uh, do the service that means the uh, number of servers in the system is only one. Because of only one server in the system, whoever comes uh, when somebody's service is going on he has to wait. You can think of a, a queuing discipline is a first come first served. So, I am going to make a random variable let capital T be the random variable which denotes
the total time the total time spent by a customer customer means any person in the queuing system here i made a very simplest queuing system in which in which only one server in the system there may be n number of people can wait so after the service is over then only they can leave the system we are interested to find out the distribution of t if i supply the information about how much time taken for customers service and what is the distribution of a number of customers in the system that means i am going to represent this capital t as a random sum in the form of x1 plus x2 and so on plus xn plus capital x where each x size i from 1 to n or the service time the random variable denotes the service time for ith customer and i make the assumption the service time follows a exponential distribution with the parameter mu i'll repeat the total time spent by a customer in the system that can be represented as the sum of n random variables plus x where each x size or i a d random variables where each x size or i a d random variable with the common distribution which is exponential distribution with the parameter mu where x i denotes the service time of service time of any customer whereas the capital x that is the service time of this particular customer particular customer which is independent of uh, all the previous uh, service time therefore all the x size and uh, x are independent uh, random variable this is also follows uh, exponential distribution with the parameter mu i'm just giving a uh, another label for uh, x to say that uh, that is a uh, service time for his own uh, therefore the capital t is going to be a random sum because you never know how many customers are uh, going to be before him when he enter into the system so n is a random variable so i can write uh, this uh, small n as the capital n i can write small n as a capital n and uh, x size are going to be iid random variables including a capital x so now i can go for capital n is the number of customers in the system which is independent of the service times of all the customers my interest is to find out the distribution of a capital t so i have to supply what is the distribution of uh, the number of customers in the system also so here the capital n means uh, number of customers in the system before uh, him or uh, his turn that is a uh, number of customers in the system when he enter into the system that is capital n so in this case uh, when uh, capital n is equal to 0 
that means nobody is in the system before he enters. When he enters nobody in the system that means a capital T is equal to x. I am going to find out the distribution of uh, T. For that uh, we should know the distribution of x size as well as uh, the distribution of uh, n. So, we have already said uh, the x size uh, the distribution of x size or exponential distribution with the parameter mu. Now, I am going to make the assumption of uh, assume that uh, the distribution of uh, n that is capital N is the number of customers uh, before uh, he enters. So, that can be possible values are 0, 1, 2 and so on. Therefore, uh, this is going to be I just make the assumption that follows uh, 1 minus rho into rho power n, where n can take the value 0, 1, 10 and so on, where uh, the rho is uh, open interval 0 to 1. So, this is the probability mass function of the random variable n. When n takes a value 0, obviously, the total time spent uh, by a customer that is going to be only his own service time that is a exponential distribution. Okay. So, let us find out uh, the probability density function of capital T as a function of small t. It is uh, easy to find out uh, the conditional distribution of uh, capital T given n takes some value, then go for finding the probability density function of T. That is, suppose uh, I want to find out uh, the CDF of uh, capital T, that is uh, the probability of T takes a value less than or equal to T, that is same as the conditional probability of uh, T less than or equal to T given that n takes a value small n multiplied by the probability of n takes a value n for all possible values of n. Left side we started with the CDF of the random variable T that is same as the probability of T less than or equal to T that is same as first we compute the conditional distribution of capital T given n then by multiplying the probability mass function of n for all possible values of n we are getting the distribution of capital T by using a total probability theorem which we discussed in the beginning for the events but now we are applying the same concept for the random variables that means uh, finding the distribution of a t by using the conditional distribution of t by using the sort of a random sum concept then by using the total probability theorem we are getting the distribution. But for that uh, first we should find out uh, what is the conditional uh, distribution of t given n takes a value small n. Once you fix uh, the total number of customers before him that is going to be n, the total time spent uh, by a customer is going to be the service time of uh, all the n people plus uh, his own service time. In that uh, there is a small uh, issue when someone enters there is a possibility the service of uh, the customer who is under service it may be keep going and it may need the remaining service time for the customer who is under service plus uh, the first service of the second customer, third customer and so on till the nth customer then plus his own service. So, again I am going to use the logic of uh, exponential distribution. 
since uh, the first customer under service whose service is a exponential distribution with the parameter mu, the remaining service time, the remaining service time that is also going to follow exponential distribution with the parameter mu by using the memoryless property that is a conditional probability of x greater than t plus s given that x is greater than s that is same as probability of x is greater than t that means the past history is erased and the conditional probability is again going to be the probability of x is greater than t which has the same distribution of exponential distribution therefore the total time spent by a customer when already n people are in the system that is going to be remaining service time of the customer under service plus fresh service of n minus 1 customers plus his own service that is capital T is x1 sort of tilde tilde means remaining service time plus x2 and so on plus x suffix small n plus capital X. Each service time is exponential distribution identical mutually independent with the x service is one followed by the other. Therefore, you can conclude for a fixed n. So, this is a the distribution of t for a fixed n that is gamma distributed with the parameters n plus 1 with the second parameter mu. This is a one of the important properties of a gamma distribution. The gamma distribution which has the parameters whenever it is a positive integer and the other parameters mu that can be visualized as the sum of a mutually independent exponentially distributed random variable with the parameter lambda. There is another name for this that is a Erlang distribution with the n plus 1 stages with each stage of exponential distribution with the parameter mu. So, this is a conditional distribution of t given n takes a value small n. Therefore, we know what is the probability density function of t given capital N takes a value n that is a small t as a function of n. That is a mu power n plus 1 t power n e power minus mu t divided by n factorial. It is a gamma of a n plus 1 therefore, it is a n factorial. So, this is valid when the t lies between 0 to infinity 0 otherwise. This is basically a gamma distribution with the parameters n plus 1 comma mu. Now, we are going back to finding out the CDF of t that is probability of t is less than or equal to t that is same as the summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. The above one is a conditional probability density function of t given n. Now, we need a conditional distribution. So, therefore, it is a minus instead of minus infinity we can go for 0 to 0 to small t mu power n plus 1 s power n e power minus mu s divided by n factorial multiplied by 1 minus rho into rho power n ds. 
this is a good example of uh, introducing the conditional distribution, random sum and uh, the properties of exponential distribution and the gamma distribution. If you do the simplification, one can get the answer that is 1 minus e power minus mu times 1 minus rho times t. So, this is a CDF of t for t greater than or equal to 0, otherwise it is 0. It is a CDF of a capital T as a function of small t that is 1 minus e power minus mu times 1 minus rho times t. With this, uh, we are completing uh, the module of uh, functions of uh, several variable, several random variables starting with the distributions of functions of uh, several random variables, then uh, order statistics, then uh, as a third lecture uh, conditional uh, distributions and finally random sum.